This is GTA 4 running on Cassia emulator at very high graphics and take a look at its FPS. This again is also GTA 4 but now running at low graphics settings and you will see we are getting similar FPS. Well yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here. Today in this video we'll be taking a look at some of the amazing news related to Cassia emulator Android and I'll be talking about the gameplay pics which we just saw. Here's another gameplay pic of Bioshock Infinite running on Cassia emulator with almost 60 FPS and no visible graphical issues. I would like to tell you guys that Skyline Emulator's Discord server has officially now been rebranded to Cassia Emulator and they have put it in title that Cassia coming 2024. But to start off, let me correct myself about the Cassia information which I gave you guys last video. The minimum requirement of Cassia Emulator Android is not actually Android 12 or above but it should work fine even on Android 10 devices which is a really great news and I thought that Cassia developers are using Fix MU for reference but that was wrong. Cassia will use Fix directly along with Wine and hence we are seeing better performance results compared to Box64 Droid and even Winlater. Can be damn sure that Cassia will be an proper Windows emulator for Android with regular updates, decent support and decent performance. Now let me talk about GTA 4 gameplay images which you just saw a few minutes ago. The developer has tested that game on Cassia on a laptop not an Android device that's why it doesn't have any kind of on-screen touch controls you might think that laptop is obviously going to be more powerful than Android devices well that's where you are wrong the single core performance of the developer's laptop doesn't even match to that of Snapdragon 888 processor so the FPS which you saw 30 and above is really great representation and if you just take a look at this image we are getting 39 fps at low graphics in gta 4 on developers laptop that's because cpu is being bottlenecked i'm pretty sure that if you have a flagship device of 2023 you will get the best amount of performance possible out of cassi emulator android but unfortunately mali gpu performance won't be as good as adrenos but it will be better than any other competition also i just remembered many of you guys have 4 gb ram Android devices so one of the discord server members of Cassia asked the developer this question will 4GB RAM be enough for Cassia and the developer said he doesn't really know for now wait and see so 2024 we will get all the answers regarding Cassia emulator Android and I am pretty sure it should work on 4GB RAM Android device as the Cassia emulator in itself won't be consuming high amounts of RAM uh, it depends on the game which you try to emulate. If you have Android 10 or above, it should be fine in my opinion. One guy went ahead and asked that, can you test GTA 5 on Cassia? And the developer said no because of 32-bit. The developer is going to start working on 64-bit implementation pretty soon. So that's a really great news. And many of you guys were asking, will Steam work on Cassia emulator? As you know, if Steam is running, you can test out all your PC games way easier. But it's not going to work for now. It will work after 64-bit implementation so that again is an amazing news. I am really happy to see Cassia performing so well with Bioshock Infinite and I am hoping that if we try some older titles let's say like WWE games of 2010 or 12, NFS games, I tested out NFS Rival on Box64 Droid and I just got 6 to 8 FPS. I tested out NFS Most Wanted on Winlater and I just got 3 to 5 FPS. Hopefully that's not the case with Cassia Emulator Android. Uh, and after seeing these gameplay images, I can confirm that developers are prioritizing getting playable results first because that's the main thing. If you release an emulator like Winlater which isn't even providing a good playable gameplay experience then what's the use of it right it can run games it can boot games yeah whatever but it does not provide playable results so it's of no use the developers want to make sure that everyone gets a decent gameplay experience and hence they are not rushing on releasing cassia emulator so that's everything for today if you guys are new here be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i'll keep you guys up to date with the latest emulation news so see you guys next time peace out